Hello and welcome to Bill and Bear Cryptocurrency Analysis News and Education. My name is James Gore. This video is for the 17th of July 2018. Jumping into the market update today, guys. Technical analysis from the big three and then uh, news to pass from and straight to the comment section in the last video. So, first things first, total market cap in the space, 273 billion US dollars. We have increased volume, currently at 15 billion USD. We have increased market cap as well, and Bitcoin dominance is actually holding relatively strong. If you actually look at the market today, you can see the past 24 hours we're actually seeing continuous upside. We're still seeing upside in the market. I am relatively surprised, but it's a good thing. Nice to see. Uh, biggest gainer in the market is 10x these past 24 hours, currently up 49%, followed by Power Ledger 22%, and Doge, big, good old Doge, 19.83%. Biggest loser in the market is Tether, only because as uh, as it balances out and gets closer to a dollar, it needs to uh, needs to kind of uh, lose some valuation a tiny bit. So, okay, quickly looking at the charts, we're looking at Coinbase. Currently, it's relatively early. It's almost 5 a.m. Uh, British summer time, uh, 5 a.m. in the UK. But essentially, we look at looking at yesterday's candle. It closed finding resistance exactly at the 50-day moving average, which is why it's good to see these long-term moving averages, okay? We had three times the volume on yesterday's candle compared to the previous days. Almost three times the volume. It is it's really heating up, guys, and it's only been a few hours, and we're, we're seeing not much variance in price action, but we're seeing half, almost half the trading volume we saw two days ago, so when this, this move started to move up. So it's likely we're going to see a continuation of this push. Um, Europe hasn't woken up yet, so they're likely to see things really kick off. And it seems like we're going to see a continuation towards 6,843 US dollars, which is the level we're looking at based on previous price history to get the actual major resistance. There's a few scenarios playing out right now, okay, which I'm, I, I mentioned briefly a week or two before, but essentially if we start breaking above this level, we have an inverse head and shoulders going on in play, okay? And I mentioned this a little while ago, but I'll denote it on the chart once more for you guys, I'll just turn off the magnet tool. But we have one shoulder right here. If I could just draw that on you for there. Another shoulder right here, like so. And then we have the head. Okay, so that's one scenario that could be playing out. Okay, um, the other thing that was interesting from yesterday, kind of pay attention to, was a lovely. We have, we have a channel going on now, but I maybe I missed the time frame. Maybe it was here. We had the lovely pe pennant uh, playing out yesterday, which broke to the bullish. Another ascending triangle broke to the bush. Sorry, another triangle again broke to the upside. And it looks like we have a trading channel. So we'll also denote that on the chart on the hourly time frame. We have a clear sign of I can't remember how to do this because for some reason I've opened the wrong one. That's not drawing tool. Uh because for there we go, nice parallel channel. Tack on in the magnet tool, denote the lower resistance level, like so, and upper resistance level, and tack that on right there. Okay, so we, we we have a very clear trading channel. Okay, so at least in the hourly time frame, we have we have uh, uh, levels of, for support and resistance. Um, so you can make an entry and exit. But it looks like we're trading within this channel at the moment. We have an ascending triangle at the moment going on uh, right here with upper resistance right now, been rejected from this level twice in the last four or five hours. But we have a continuation candle, got confirmation for breakout as well. So it looks like things are still continuing to eat up. We are definitely overbought at the moment on a few time frames, but you know, depending on how this this, this day consolidates, um, if we do manage to start breaking above the six thousand eight hundred USD mark, there's a lot of things that are going on right there. Uh, if we return to the weekly time frame, you can remember I mentioned yesterday in yesterday's video that um, it's been a level we've been essentially rejected from once, twice, three times, four times. Uh, maybe five times this week we shall see uh, four times since you know since we had this Marabozu candle right here so there's a lot of factors going on which could signal essentially um, could signal uh, the start of something great really good start of not the, not the absolute bull run because I'd say true fundamental news we'd be talking about an ETF um, being accepted, being launched, but it could mean you know if we do rise higher, we start trading in the seven thousand, uh, you know seven thousand range, seven seven to ten k range. If an ETF drops, then that's really going to see the market explode again. 
institutional money is likely to flow in that week. Uh, so be interesting. But this is the thing to watch. Let's see if this inverse head and shoulders plays out. It's a bullish macro pattern. Let's see if this plays out. Moving on to Ethereum, FUSD. Again, great volume on Ethereum USD. Yesterday we saw that we had increasing bear, uh, bull volume, not bear volume, increasing bull volume, close above the 12 moving average, 26 moving average exponential, which is what we were hoping for. We haven't retested it yet. Maybe we'll see a retest today. Maybe we'll see some consolidating today. However, generally speaking, histogram is trending upwards, RSI is trending upwards. Uh, volume isn't as strong as BTC so far today. That being said, things it's again Europe hasn't woken up yet so we'll see more of a move uh, one way or the other but the key thing I'll be watching for with Ethereum is if we do consolidate and the same with Bitcoin if we do consolidate uh, we bounce with the 26 moving average exponential just we need to close above that moving average exponential um, just to denote some kind of strength we can't just continue to trade uh, to trend upwards or have strong strong pushes upwards but we shall see uh, resistance level to be kind of paying attention to would be 500 US dollars that's Roughly where the 50 day moving average is at the moment, and that's where previous price, price history is at currently 505.31 USD. So that makes sense, would be the first major hurdle. So that's something to pay attention to. Next, Litecoin LTC USD. So Litecoin rejected from the 26 moving average exponential, opened up today, and is currently trading above it at 84 US dollars. So that's actually a pretty good sign. It shows that we were rejected from a level yesterday. And we're trading above it, breaking above it. it. Shows bulls still have signs of strength, increasing bull volume so far. More volume on Litecoin that on than Ethereum, surprisingly enough. So might maybe Litecoin's going to start um, picking up again. Maybe it has found bottom. It has been sideways trading for a while. It did reach a tri triple bottom quite recently, um, and it might just start to claw its way out of uh, some not so great. Uh, not so great performance quite recently, but we shall see. It's still a lot to play for. I think Litecoin does need a lot of more fundamental news to actually drive the price up. Just quickly looking at the hourly time frame for LTC USD. Again, we have another trading channel right here playing out, and we're likely to see this on the big four and a lot of coins today. But uh, we're still we're still having really good volume on these moves up. So it's 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 pretty interesting at the moment. Yes, we're over oversold, but the it hasn't really showed massive signs of slowing down, nor has Ethereum, nor has Bitcoin. So, um, and this is this is actually a really low, tr low volume time at the moment. So again, Europe's going to wake up, East Coast and States going to wake up, and then we're going to see how things are really cooking. Okay, Bitcoin Cash (BCH) on the daily time frame, taking a quick looky look. So again, uh, massive volume day yesterday. Bitcoin Cash was up 10% yesterday. Um, I hope some of you guys were able to take advantage of that. That would have been really nice. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin Cash looks like it has a bit more life left in it. It, got, it found resistance at the high of 809 USD. It's currently trading at 802 USD and reached a high today of 803. So um, isn't really hasn't really continued to push up just yet, but still it's holding strong at this level. Look, judging on previous price history, we can see. Uh, we have, you know, we may be testing a support level right here um, just because we've been rejected from the 796 USD mark. We bounced at that level two in the past. Just quickly scrolling back, we've also been rejected from that level once, twice, three times in the past. And it's been support in the past as well. So it's a significant level in at least, uh, you know, going back in this coin's history. Plus, at the moment, we're just trading above it. So if we can find this to support, it'd be really good. Again, looking at the volume on Bitcoin Cash, actually has the most volume out of the big four. So it looks like Bitcoin Cash is likely to actually have a bit more strength in it um, today, despite not a strong reflection in the price action. Again, it's also in the trading channel. So I would, I would argue, if you are looking for a coin to trade on Coinbase, then pay attention to Bitcoin Cash today if the markets continue to heat up, just because... It could be the coin, depending looking at Litecoin as well, but it could be the coin that's going to give you the most, uh, mo the most significant move today. So, just very quickly going to the comment section of the last video to check out which coin you upvoted in the comment section to see uh, some technical analysis on, and that was VeChain, one of my favorite projects, and it looks like VeChain on Binance versus BTC is what we're going to be taking a look at, and and uh, VeChain has been falling out of the sky recently. Um, we had a very high volume day yesterday, similarly in the whole market, and we can see it's a trend reversal. Candle, strong hammer, 
right here for this reversal hammer. And if we're going to drill a little deeper, we're going to go to that one hour time frame to see where this volume was actually coming from on that candle. And we can see we had increasing bear volume on this move down, and then it kind of cut off, and then we had kind of relatively even flat, not flat volume, but even volume on this on these steps up. Three three green soldiers, roughly, kind of not 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 exactly, but um five green crowns in a row and we're seeing some sideways trading. So essentially we're finding resistance at 26 and moving average uh, exponential and likely that to be the 50 day which we're, what we're, is what we were last rejected on the hourly time frame. Sorry, 50 moving time frame on the last time frame. Interesting you had tri triple volume right there. But if we look at the RSI on the hourly, it's approaching 50 which is more bullish. Histograms trending downwards. So we're trying to, we're trying to work out Momentum wise, is this coin going to start picking up again? And what I'd probably like to do is a retrace actually. Just because we have actually reached the lows already. Okay, interesting. Um, so, okay, okay, I wouldn't do to retrace. What, what I'd be looking for today is. Um, are we going to simply very simple? Are we going to get a confirmation for a trend reversal? All we need to do is have a candle with a higher high than uh, the yesterday's candle. That's it with decent volume. Okay, right now we're in oversold territory. Twenty at RSI at twenty. I mean, arguably, I would, I would probably, I'd probably pay attention to this coin very closely today because today looks like the day is going to start picking things back up. That thing is going to start picking up um, again. Um, Pay attention to how today's candle closes. If it's a Harami candle slash inside bar, I know it's very early today, but if it's a Harami candle slash inside bar, be waiting to see which way it's going to break and then make an entry based on that decision. Otherwise, if today's candle doesn't isn't a Harami candle and it has a high that's higher than yesterday's candle, it looks like that's a train that's a train confirmation essentially. Uh, it would be a green candle. And I'll be telling you that things at, at least, at the very least, are going to start heating up until you reach the 12 moving average exponential, which if you look at the high of the last candle to this candle, that's 7% move, nothing too crazy, but it's likely to break above then close below if it is if it, if it shows signs of weakness, which would be about 10-15% move, which could be quite profitable if that's what you're interested in, which I think a lot of people are. But V chain, V chain, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it looks like it's on the cusp of flattening out and and starting to move to the upside, and we do have the histogram on the MACD starting to trend to the bullish. It hasn't crossed over just yet, but just with regards to which way momentum is shifting, it looks like it just reached a peak, but hard to say. Uh, okay, so, moving on to news for the past 24 hours. Coinbase says it has the green light to list coins deemed securities. Okay, so in yesterday's video, you remember that I mentioned that Ripple is not, wasn't one of the five coins to be uh, explored by Coinbase because it's, it's likely to be deemed a security. Not likely, it could have the potential to be deemed security and, and, and Coinbase trying to avoid uh, trying to avoid security as well. Um, just to quickly go over the statement. Uh, it doesn't... This article is really uh, full of fluff. Um, okay, essentially, essentially Coinbase has not... This is pretty bullish news, and I'll tell you why. Because basically, means any currently that means any cryptocurrency can be listed on Coinbase. The only thing I'd be stopping it now, whether it's deemed security or not, is um, it's it's that cryptocurrency's uh, perception in majority of jurisdictions. For example, Monero probably doesn't have the best best perception in some jurisdiction, just because um, just because you know it seems. Or deemed as a cryptocurrency that has more is more favorable with criminals. Okay, doesn't mean that it is, but just means you know privacy coins aren't exactly. Um, they're definitely going to have a role. They're not going anywhere, but that. But in terms of um, order of, you know, preference for coins to be listed in the exchange, especially when it comes to just c coding the coin as well, how easy is it to implement uh, the code for this coin? That's the next question. That's that's um. That's the second kind of layer to this, but it does mean that now we have all, all tokens to play for right now. So if you, if you remember, I made a video. You probably weren't around for this, but I made a video which was the first video to really explode my channel 
um, on Coinbase and which coins it's going to list. You have five coins that they're interested in exploring, likely to be the ERC20 token versions first, which is easy because they said already that they're going to be providing uh, ERC20 token support in the future. So it's, um, because they have Ethereum on, on pardon me, Coinbase already, it'd be very easy to just to have ERC20 tokens on that exchange compared to uh, something, some tokens more complex. But regardless, now as a, even any token, security or not, is is free and able to be listed on Coinbase. And that dropped uh, quite recently. So big, big news. Next up, I missed this one. I missed this one. I didn't include it in yesterday's video, but I'm sure you guys know. Um, but if you don't know, BlackRock begins exploration exploration of Bitcoin. This is from Financial News, FN London. Um, Asset Manager has set up a working group to investigate ways it can take advantage of the fast-growing cryptocurrency market. BlackRock has set up a group to investigate ways the world's largest asset manager can take advantage of the fast-growing cryptocurrency market, despite its chief, chief executive lambasting the Bitcoin sector. I love that word. Um, so I'm not subscribed to uh, Financial News, FN London. I have no idea what this is, this website. I've seen this article on a few web pages already. But the 6.3 trillion investment powerhouse has created a team from different parts of the business to investigate cryptocurrencies and their underlying infrastructure blockchain, according to two people familiar with the matter. So essentially, this is a, non, a, a possible way we're going to have billions, if maybe even trillions, of dollars entering the cryptocurrency space. I doubt trillions, but I think billions is, is quite reasonable, more reasonable. But this is this is probably the most bullish news we've had in the space, and this is partially what's you know catapulted the the, the push up recently um, and it's fantastic fantastic news and uh, the, the okay guys so the biggest the first signs that we're moving away from a bear market is there's, there's two to kind of pay attention to okay one is one is trading volume in the market when we when a market has really low trading volume that and it's just tapering off tapering off it's a sign that we're moving away from the bull market to a bear market. The second is how the market responds to news. Okay, if you remember, if you've been around since January to say June, maybe even a bit before, any piece of news would 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 basically mean the market go down downwards essentially. So a negative impact the market. Okay, so we'd have good news and it would do nothing, or we'd have bad news and it would be extremely dramatic. Now this is the first piece of good news that I've seen in a long time has actually been the catalyst and the reason why the markets have picked up okay and why the markets have started to start rallying and if you've been following the channel you know when i've been talking about bitcoin i've been talking about these these dips and then the bounces and how the dips are um whether you think they're market manipulated or not i, I personally believe they're to shake out the weak hands but also just people uh less people willing to buy bitcoin than them uh than there are selling but Ultimately, um, those bounces were weaker and weaker, okay, and the sell-offs have become weaker and weaker. And that's because there's only so many people willing to sell BTC, um, and it's it's usually a sign that's usually a sign that things are going to be moving more flat. Now, what's really odd is I think, and don't quote me on this, but it's just an opinion. I think that the a lot of people are looking at the traders to cheat sheet. So let's go cheat. Uh, Wall Street. Okay, there we go. No, uh, Wall Street. Market cycle. Cheat sheet, guys. And people are expecting uh, a long period of sideways trading. Okay. So, like, so, so some people are saying, you know, we, we need to first go through this phase, which is a continuous downtrend for ages, have a bit of a weak bounce, and then, you know, further sideways trading, and then things start to pick up, and then people say it's a suffers rally, and then we hit this belief. What's really odd is Bitcoin's never really done that. Um, that that's, that's not entirely true. It, it, has, it has had a bear market for two years, but um, generally speaking, more often than not, Bitcoin and crypto hasn't really responded in that way exactly. What, what What's actually happened is the time it takes for it to complete complete this part is actually relatively short. I'm not saying we're there now. What I'm saying is is that um, we're having a few a few things indicate that we may be moving into more bullish territory. Okay. Next up, 
big piece of bullish news as well. Billionaire Stephen Cohen invests in cryptocurrency hedge fund. So again, institutional money is coming. Uh, people that are rich have investment experience or investing into cryptocurrencies uh, by hedge funds and, and asset managers. So, so Stephen Co uh, Cohen, the founder of Point72 Asset Management, is obviously jumping on the crypto bandwagon with his first investment in a crypto hedge fund. Uh, autonomous partners. Cohen would be investing in the crypto hedge fund through his private investment vehicle, Cohen Private Ventures. With all his three decades of successful entrepreneurial and asset management experience, Cohen's investment in cryptocurrency comes at a time when a lot of institutional investors are contemplating investing in the sector. Why is this bullish? Because it's like a green light. He's like a canary in a coal mine, except he's someone with experience. I wouldn't say it's a canary in a coal mine. I'd argue we are the canaries in the coal mine. But um, he's someone with investment experience which institutional investors would be looking at saying okay there's something to this cryptocurrency stuff yes warren buffett said it was a uh, it's, it's garbage bitcoin's garbage and then he's turned then he's flip flip flopped a lot of people have flip flopped um and now we're starting to see people have successful billionaires and uh investors now moving to crypto there must be something to this um and we know that there's a lot of demand for institutional investment at the moment so it's probably just going to pick back up next up more bullish news Oh, hello Forbes. One sec, I think uh, the website's gone weird. Uh, okay, great. I can't remember what this article is. So we'll skip it. Not relevant. Okay, so South African financial company Purple Group has confirmed the addition of two cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, to its online trading platform. According to a representative, the decision came in response to strong demand from clients earlier this year. That's the key thing, strong demand. The move has expanded the trading options for South Africans, many of whom, according to a recent study, still believe a lot of money can be made from crypto investments. Absolutely, of course it can. Um, so if you aren't aware, this is one of the major platforms in South Africa, which is a large market um, already, and they're offering... Uh, cryptocurrency trading, which is fantastic. So this is again adoption, essentially a means for adoption. Next up, uh, again, Bloomberg with articles that are a bit tricky. Okay, so we're going to skip this one and move on to the important one. Okay, so Peter Thiel and billionaire Jihan Wu's Bitmain invest in Block One. If you want to know where Block One is, Block. Blockchain platform Block One is close to announcing a new fundraising round, bringing Peter Thiel and Chinese billionaire Jihan Wu Bitmain Technologies as new investors, according to people familiar with the matter. The fresh investment round could be announced as early as this week, the people added, declining to be identified because the information is private. Other co investors in the current round include Lewis Bacon, founder of More Capital Management LP, and a fellow hedge fund billionaire Alan Howard. The size couldn't immediately be learned. Wu is co founder of Bitmain Technologies, the world's largest producer of chips used in mining cryptos. Founders Fund, uh, Peter Thiel's San Francisco based firm, uh, known for its early bets on SpaceX and Airbnb, has a actively purchasing Bitcoin, obviously. So, Block One uh, essentially is, uh, is uh, behind EOS, partially, mostly. And um, I, think, I think they're one of the block producers as well. They rescinded their vote for a year. Uh, Block One, co-founded in 2016 by Brendan Bloomer and Dan Larimer, counts investors including Michael Novogratz and fintech investor Christian uh, Angermeyer, who co-invests with Thiel in a range of technology firms, including Posit Solutions and Necklace Markets, GmbH. Now, there's a bit of controversy regarding EOS and uh, suggesting it's attacking Ethereum network at the moment. And there's, I think there's an interesting video from Ivan on Tech about that recently. It's worth a watch. I only got about 10 minutes in before I fell asleep last night. But uh, not because he's boring or anything, he's really engaging. I was just really knackered. But um, I was reading an article on uh, Reddit as well, just reading through it. And it's interesting to see if that's the case. Um, but regardless, EOS has had a really rocky start. However, it, it, is, it is performing relatively well. Regardless of, a, of you know, the congestion in the Ethereum network, I think I've released a video on Patreon or the channel talking about... Uh, crypto projects ranked based on the actual network activity and how well they're performing. So actual true adoption. And funnily enough, Ethereum is fourth, EOS is third, BitShares is first, and I think Steam is, is second. And that's really it's really weird, but three delegated proof of state blockchains are first. Okay. Uh, are ranked one to three. 
and they're all Dan Larimer's and it's 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 an interesting one it's very interesting um, but that being said this is big news for EOS big news for block one big news for cryptocurrency as well um, but pay attention to EOS guys because it, it is it is going to rocket up again at some point okay back to the comment section for today's video thank you so much for watching today's video We're going to answer some questions and comments or just look at suggestions so JJ Diggerts and 77 says ZRX will be the first I could see it being listed quite early just because it's an ERC20 token. John Roberts says thirst. Thanks. Uh, thumbs up and hearts to you, sir. Sorry, Bell says thanks, James. Pundex or, or 0x. So I'm going to be doing videos on 0x and uh, all the coin, all the coins that Coinbase have spoken about. MP, MPX. I'll be dropping that on the channel. So this is a really frustrating coin to look at just because it doesn't have m m massive amounts of price history and somehow has gone from oops has gone from massively oversold to clawing its way out of oversold. Is it trading any other exchange? It's just to check. Oop. Okay, so what we're seeing here is double tweezer top and combined with a trend reversal hammer. Okay, so it's also being rejected from the top moving average exponential. Has only been traded for 28 days on Binance. Uh, I'd be cautious with this coin at the moment just because there's not much price history on this one but I know it has some sort of fundamental news I saw it being actually uh, uh, I actually saw a merchant uh, with Pundi X actually being utilized so there's some fundamentals surrounding this project so it's not just a it's not just a vapor project but um, it's, it's just not much to work with here with the chart. Okay, so in the in the, in the immediacy, what I'd be looking for to see is see how today's candle closes at the moment. Obviously, it hasn't closed just yet. Um, if it closes how it looks like, which is a bit like a depends on how it closes. It was a hammer before, and then we get confirmation of a trend reversal. So further downside, so a, a red candle tomorrow. That basically be just waits. But if we don't get that and we and it breaks above, then it's kind of uh, ignore that pattern and it looks like it's going to be able to close above uh, 12 moving average exponential and you want to see if it can bounce off that so it's a bit there's not much price history right here to really work with so uh, very quickly checking out 0x on the old Binance and has a old good old flag going on so it has a nice bullish flag or, or pennant depending on how you look at this depending on how this closes but um, we have a upper, uh, upper, upper, upper channel going on here. We don't know if that's really confirmed, and we have a bit of a lower channel right here. Of course, this hasn't hasn't closed. This candle hasn't closed yet, so, and you have, you really want to judge things on based on how candles close first, rather than just the patterns you're seeing. But if you, you can definitely see a pole here, it's had decent. It's actually been doing well before the news in the market, and funny enough, it didn't do well yesterday when the market was heating up. So. Um, spinning top candle signals indecision, and we're seeing it breaks the downside. So we may see further consolidation, which might lead to a uh, might lead to a, a flag rather than a pennant. But this would this would actually be a good time to see a retrace because um, you'd want to use a fib retracement right here from the bottom to the top of this move to see if it's going to uh, bounce off uh, 0.382 fib. And then uh, rally on and break out of this upper upper resistance level, but there's just not enough candles right here to say to, to see. And of course, you wait for this candle to close. So use use a retracement just to see where it's landing first. But it's looking pretty bullish for zero X at the moment. Obviously, with fundamental news as well, it can help drive the price up. But it looks like it hasn't, which is funny. But uh, but yeah, it's not looking terrible. It's looking pretty decent. Uh, thumbs up and hearts, sorry. Uh, Leonard says, "Good day, brother. We put a little thought into new things, zero X, and so that like best candidates, my first choice would be Stellar because of its overall financial abilities. Zero X looks great because of the cross chain capabilities. Thanks for your content, man. Yeah, uh, zero X looks rather appealing, at least from an investigative standpoint. I'm going to be releasing a video relatively soon. Um, and I've, I've mentioned I really like the Stellar project. Really, really do like it. Um, thanks, James from San Diego. Rob Powell gets thumbs up and heart." Uh, Nicholas Byne, you did you did call that, didn't you? Zcash, I think you mentioned that like ages ago. Um, so yeah, congrats, man. I hope you pick some up. That'd be really cool. 
Uh, hey mate, life comes first, bro. We all understand, James, and uh, you're a good bloke. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Independent alternative medias of Australia. I appreciate that, good sir. Arnie, hey mate, good video again. Can you add Neo to the TA and the big three, which are five or so now? Grazie. Okay, we'll do Neo right now. Neo, Neo, Neo. Neo versus Tello. We'll look at Neo versus uh, Neo is picking up again. That's that's pretty nice. It's actually finding support on the 26 moving average, but we'll look at Neo versus BTC. Um, by the way, guys, if you want me to do specific pairings, so for example, if you want me to compare your coin versus Bitcoin or versus te uh, Tether, let me know, or versus the dollar, let me know. Say Neo BTC or Ven BTC, and that way I can, I can be more specific if you prefer seeing a it in, in a dollar dollar value. But uh, interesting enough with Neo versus the dollar, um, it's finding support on a 26 moving average right now on Bitcoin versus BTC because you know the game is beat Bitcoin when you're going to trade altcoins. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, then we're seeing we saw a close we rejected from the 26 moving average exponential just closed below and it's bouncing off the 12 moving average exponential and just trading above so that signs that it's going to continue to start picking up um, except the volume isn't massive it's not it's not the greatest volume but it could be a lot worse um, histograms trending upwards RSI is trending um, upwards it's currently at 50 which is you know crossing over 50 is generally indication of something relatively bullish relatively bullish not massively bullish um so yeah things are looking pretty decent for neo actually um again what i would be looking for is to see if it can close above the 26 and then the first resistance that we're actually would be watching would be the 50 day moving average so i'm just going to quickly go to drawing tools and remove all drawing tools and then we can see on the charts that the 50 day is currently at uh, six six thousand satoshi which is interesting nice round psychological number as well so it's likely if we do see a continued push and that would be a five percent move it's likely that we're going to see um likely to see uh uh first stop there by the way guys also just with regards to technical analysis if you want me to do technical analysis from a more long-term perspective just say can you take a look at uh for a long term or trade because we can we can look at longer time frames as well depends on what you're interested in uh, great as always, everyone who asks questions here, uh, get on Patreon and support this man. You don't realize how much goes into a single video, let alone daily content. Seriously, one cup of coffee a month. This guy's selling selling Patreon more than I do. <laughs> uh, less than you can perpetuate this generous man's work. James, ICX, what's, what is happening? Drop around $3 has made lists no sense to me. Markets can be irrational. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, ICX... It's just it, ICX is just one of those projects where it just has the has ridiculous partnerships and ridiculous goings on, and it's just not reflected in the price. And it looks like if we zoom out a tiny bit, we're approaching um, bottom, roughly. Looks like if we start sideways trading and, and pick and pick up again, it looks like uh, I I would probably dump. I'll probably be dumping quite a bit into ICX again. Um, I've stopped cost averaging, averaging to ICX just because, which is probably silly because it's where the most opportunity is likely to be, and it averages out the cost averaging just because I need to focus on uh, VeChain, Ontology, uh, Neo, and some other coins um, that are going to be providing a different strategy with my portfolio. So, um, just spoke about on Patreon at the live stream recently. Those are the main ones to focus on personally. Uh, so ICX kind of needs to take a break. But just looking at ICX from a technical standpoint, um, I know the fundamentals are great. Solid, so, solid news keeps coming out regularly. And it's just maybe it's an oversaturation of a lack of hype or anticipation and just delivering, which is weird. Because some projects, you know, look at Verge and they're like, big news is coming in, in 30 days or in, t in two months. And, they'll, and, they'll, and then the price will pick up, the price will pick up. And the news drops and and the price dumps. Whereas ICX, they just release the news. They don't really do any kind of hype uh, with the project, which I really do like and I do appreciate because they're just delivering, which long term makes much more sense because that's what's actually going to be the catalyst for growth. Um, but just quickly looking at the charts, um, you know, ICX saw a tiny bit of upside yesterday. Nothing too crazy though. And uh, if we just quickly look, I can't tell if just quickly taking a look. It's not. It's nothing crazy. We had decent volume yesterday, but again, um, 
doesn't look like it's it's going to be trending upwards just yet. It seems it's saying more sideways trading action first, rejecting from being rejected from the 12 moving average exponential. It's likely. Um, but looking at histogram on the MACD, it's crossed over to the bullish. The signal line's crossed over. I know it's a lagging indicator, so it's you know it's really relevant for a few days ago. But histogram is actually um, trending upwards, so that's kind of the first signs that's kind of crawling out the the muck, so to speak. Since the Litecoin, uh, your updates help me a lot. Thank you, good sir. No problem. Happy to do them. Uh, Snowbird says thank you. And Trevor, thank you for commenting. Trevor this is a great vid. So thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the comments. Um, if you want me to do technical analysis on eCoins, do leave a thumbs up my own video as well because I don't do that apparently. I think that's the thing you're meant to do, but I don't do that. Um, um, technical analysis on any coins. Do leave a comment in the box below and let me know what pairing as well. So say like BTC USD or BTC your local currency. Maybe that'd be something that'd be more beneficial to you guys. Just want to help you guys that way. Um, let me know what you think about this market and the current the current push. Do you think it's a sucker's uh, a sucker's move, a sucker's rally? Is it, are you in disbelief? Um, what do you think of the of the inverse head and shoulders? Because I do think this is something that could play out because we've had we've had actual head and shoulders on short time frames not play out versus this macro pattern. So it's interesting. So we'll see what's going on, which one's more respected. Plus we have a nice parallel channel, which we could be trading with, which I've showed you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, but most importantly, share this video with someone. Share this video with someone you think it could, it could, it could help or be of interest to. And uh, if you really want to support, there is Patreon, like like that chap said, a cup of coffee a month and you can help ch help the channel grow. Uh, going to be dropping much more content on Patreon, much more content on the channel as well. Trying to do very specific types of videos that will be coming later on in the evenings. I've got on my whiteboard uh, planning out specific days with specific videos, and uh, which will be just easy to repeat. And uh, hopefully, I'll be hopping on a stream relatively soon with you guys as well. Just need to kind of work out timing and and not be so tired that I can't watch an open on tech video. So, um, <laughs> thanks so much, guys. Hope an amazing day. Catch you very soon. Wish you guys all the very best. Thank you for watching that video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to watch the last news video. There's videos on the left to watch the last educational video. There's videos on the right. If you'd like to support the channel, you can sign up via the referral links, donate crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Dash, or support via Patreon. See you in the next one. All the best.